A little boy does every night. Are you hungry? Want some food? Oh. Hey, will you open this? Thank you. Careful. All right, squish. Boy, Mama loves you, baby. He gets wet food every night. Right. So he gets wet food every night. Karina is very interested in what he's doing at all times. And as you can see, the dish brigade is going to begin again. He's going to eat his food. And that's it. We get to go to bed. Alright, say good night. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, mommy. I love you. Daddy loves you. Boop! I got the nosy. She's tired, yeah. Yeah, she's tired. It's time for bed. So. She's just like non-responsive to the yeah. faces I make. She's just like, I want to sleep. See, he gets food all the time anyway. He always has food. He just gets night food at night. All right. Are you recording? Yeah. Can you let me know when you're doing that, please? Yeah. I think the bedtime routine is cute. It is. A kiss goodnight before bed? I think that's cute. It is. What do you want me to say? Oh, it is. It's not like it's anything harmful or bad. I know, just let me know when you're doing it. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're going to do story time. Yeah, I probably will. I know. So, let's stay here. You're probably going to do alley cats. Alright, let's do alley cats. Um,. The red carpet and let's do bats. Amazing bats, right? You see that? Yeah. So we're gonna do some stories. We usually do about two or three stories a night, uh, or two or three stories in the afternoon. And uh, these are what the books look like. Like amazing bats, and we go through, and you know, we look at the bats. All right, and this is actually how I read to her. I go, amazing bats. All right, amazing bats. Written by Frank Greenway. And then it's the table of contents that they have. You know, what is a bat? Seeing in the dark. Bat snacks. Where do bats live? The nursery. Winter beaks. Amazing arrow bats. Right. And anyway, you just you go through and you go, what is a bat? So you go, what is a bat? And you go, bats are mammals, just like us. They have furry bodies and wings with no hair. During the day, they sleep hanging upside down. And at night, they come out to feed. So that's like basically how we do our books. I follow along with the words, and I try not to go too fast. 
so this way she could follow along too. And uh, it's just hopefully going to prepare her in learning to read. Um, we do baby books sometimes, but I like, you know, I like a lot of the science books because then she's learning about different things. And it's not just, you know, go elephant, go, like stuff like that. So like, it's not just stuff like that. It's, it's this type of stuff too. I like this type of stuff. So, and then, uh, this is the cats of Tiffany street. And that's how we would read it. That's the table of contents. This is the lady that wrote it. And then you just go, The Cats of Tiffany Street. Because anything that you repeat is great. It's by Sarah Hayes. She's a lovely little writer. Well, lovely, lovely writer. Um, on Friday night, they arranged to meet, right? Down at the end of Tiffany Street, they climbed out the windows, squeezed through the doors, and one came down from the seventh floor. And, like, this book is actually pretty cute as well. This is about a man who was actually kind of lonely, and there was a street cat who he actually got to live with at the end of it. See? And this one cat actually never went away. And then it goes, Then the cats all ran away, except for Shadow, the wandering stray, who saw that the man wasn't really bad, just old and lonely and terribly sad. And... <laughs> So, the man actually gets to keep the stray and all the other cats meet down at the end of Tiffany Street and they dance again. So, basically, say Shadow found a home and the other cats are happy and these two are happy as well. They're no longer lonely. So, that's basically that story. And this is The Red Carpet. This is a cute little book as well. And, uh... So, we would go, The Red Carpet, Stories and Pictures by Rex Parkin. And, uh, you know, this is actually... A cute little book. You know, it's not uh, educational really at all. It's just, you know, he's rolling out the red carpet for the guy to come in and stay. So, and yeah, that's basically it. So, pretty cool. I'm actually going to read these to her tonight. These are going to be her books for tonight. And then we're going to go to bed. Mama, it's 12.43 right now. So, it's a little late. Right? It's a little late. And, uh, yeah, so this is what we're doing. This is what we do every night. This is story time. Every time I say story time, this is what I mean by story time. So it's not that hard. It's not that difficult. My kid is eight months old, almost. Yeah. Yeah, almost. On the 10th, she'll be eight months. So, uh, and we've been reading to her. Well, I've been reading to her since day one. And I think that it's amazing to read to your kids because they need the brain growth they get 10,000 new brain cells every single day and zero to four is your window period to teach your kids everything that they need to know and uh you know just how to be little humans and you know survive so great so did you get up all by yourself you want to read your books all right that's it for us that's our update